high noon on May 26, 2011, and a Thursday edition of the Daily Journal is upon the streets. Mike Fryer with Jeff Bonte. And Jeff, we're in the aftermath of this tornado that came through the area yesterday. I uh, did have a path uh, causing disarray out there, but the key thing is nobody's hurt or, Lord forbid, killed. And while there is damage, it's not uh, the catastrophic variety. Right. I think, uh, you know, uh, sad that there was, we had the storm in that, but uh, no loss of life for that. And uh, I think a lot of people in America are going to be glad this week's over because oh. the weather has been just a deadly thing. So, as many of you news and noon remember, uh, news and news remember, approximately a year ago there was a, a tornado that came through from Dwight to Pembroke that did cause quite a bit of damage. Yes. One thing that happened as a result of that is they distributed some ra weather radios out in Hopkins Park, and the word is they help spread the word and help get people in a safe position. And you can read about, more about that from Bob Thamer tomorrow, Friday. Really? Yes. That's good. Good news. Good news out of that. So. Yes. Jeff, as I walked out today, I didn't believe it was May. I thought it was more like about March. Man, it's, <laughs> when is the summer going to come? Um, maybe this weekend? Maybe, hopefully. Dennis Yonka knows more, and we'll go to him now. Hi, this is Dennis Yonka here, taking a break in the weather office today at the Daily Journal. I uh, I feel like we just got through a lot here, getting through uh, all these storms, but uh, there's a little more rain in the forecast. Today, we're only going to see a high of 56, and a low in the mid-40s, and a little more rain. Tomorrow... We'll get up to 66, partly sunny skies, maybe a low of 54, but uh, you'll you'll start feeling a little better for the weekend. When we get to a Saturday, we're going to get almost to 80, low of 62, and it's going to be partly cloudy skies. I I think we can we can make it now. We're past the worst stuff, and uh, let's get back to the news. Hey Mike, we're back, and it's Thursday. It's Mike's mailbag day, and today our letter comes from Gary from Troy, and the question is. What's your favorite summer holiday? Memorial Day, July 4th, or Labor Day? Oh, interesting question. Thanks for asking, Gary. Well, all of them I like because of the theme behind them, but let's just go to some, some factors. Memorial Day, not necessarily, because it always seems you get like this inclement weather around Memorial Day, kind of like we're having today. Yeah. Some eliminate Memorial Day. Labor Day, kind of a scary memory from Labor Day, so I have to eliminate it too. <laughs> Jeff, I've told this story before. I was about 16 or so, and it stayed out late one night, and the next day was Labor Day. I thought, oh, I'll sleep in and take it easy. And here comes my dad about 7 o'clock in the morning. It's Labor Day, a day of labor. And he got my five brothers and I up, and we spent the rest of the day painting, doing work around the house. Oh, I mean, for that reason, uh, I guess Labor Day won't be a favorite, but that leaves the 4th of July, which I would say is my favorite of the summer holidays in the very height of summer. I mean, you know, you got America's birthday, you got the John Philip Sousa music going. Yes. I'm going Independence Day, the 4th of July. Yeah. My dad would like that. That's his birthday. All right. So. Born on the 4th of July. Yeah, huh? a Yankee Doodle baby. Oh, that sounds good. Well, um, happy birthday to Mr. Bonnie in advance, and that'll do it for the news at noon today. You can subscribe to the Daily Journal by calling 815-937-3322. You can also pick it up on newsstands. And so until tomorrow, stay informed. Lightning bolts are coming down. And then the hail.